What if I gave you something crazy like this? And I said, evaluate sine of 55 times. No, this is not, oh, that's a cosine. That's an S. <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like, that's kind of weird. Um, my S's and my 5's actually look very similar. That's bad. OK. So uh, how about we use parentheses? That might help out. OK. So we have no idea how to evaluate for 5 degrees. We have no idea how to evaluate for 50, 50, 55 degrees, right? No idea, because we haven't used a calculator yet. Um, however, do we recognize a kind of pattern that's going on here? Well, does this look like anything that we have written on the board or in our notes? Yes. Yeah, which formula do you think this is? Tangent? No. We can rule out tangent pretty quick, no, right? Sine. It's a sine formula. Is it the add or the subtract? Add. Adding. So basically, this is just saying, what is the sine of 55 plus 5 degrees? Now again, going back to our first example of the square root of 9 minus 4. Can we put our phones away and evaluate 55 degrees plus 5? Because this is the third time that I've made the same statement when teaching, right? Yes. Can we just simplify this to 60 degrees? Sure. And then what do we know about the sine of 60 degrees? We can do it, which is? <laughs> do, 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 do. There you go. I like that one. Right? Yeah, that's it.